Credible update this afternoon. Kendall Thomas, a teenage girl struck by a car in her school parking lot back in January, showing signs of progress at home. The family calls every day a win. Well, today the Thomases welcome CBS 46 into their home for a personal look inside their daughter's recovery. CBS 46's Savannah Louie was there. Last time I spoke with the Thomas family back in January, they were devastated but determined Kendall would put up a fight. Now, nearly five months later, they are overjoyed and so proud of their teenage daughter. Get the rabbit out my hand. Small movements in the Thomas home push, push. mark major milestones for 14-year-old Kendall Thomas. You want to cry, you want to scream, you want to just run. Uh, you just want to do some of everything and then after a while you keep aggravating her like keep doing it, you yeah. know, because you're so excited. Shauna and Kelvin Thomas overjoyed with their daughter's progress at home after she was hit by a car in the North Paulding High School parking lot on her way to football practice nearly five months ago. Us getting a call is, you know, it's horrifying, but actually seeing the nightmare. Right. After two brain surgeries, months in the ICU and Children's Hospital, and a partial home renovation with a special bed and shower for Kendall. Down, and then it also tilts up like for the head and feet to come up as well. Her parents don't know if she understands what happened, but likely realizes her life is much different. You can't just up and get dressed and take off. It takes at least, we need at least get up like three hours before. Right. The appointment. Kendall is blossoming slowly with several rehabilitation programs, Three. including physical, speech, and food therapy almost daily. It's, it's almost like uh, we have a newborn baby again. This fighter is familiar with hard work, well known as the only female athlete on her school's football team. It's with grit and God they live each day as a testament to their faith. Jesus and therapy, you need both for something like this. It can be taxing on us, but then we try to find the joy and the light. The family tells me Kendall is looking forward to going back to church and seeing her friends and family. Later this month, there will be a rally for Kendall. We have more information about this under this story at CBS46.com. For now, reporting from Paulding County, Savannah Louie, CBS 46 News.